Hi, I'm Nick Patrick. I'm Josh Blake. I'm Justin McElhaney. I'm Colin Scherzer. And this is the OSI model. The OSI model stands for Open System Intercommunication Model. It is a key part of the networking and is a large system because of its common framework for developers and students to work with. The OSI model divides networking communications into seven layers, which are the application, presentation, session, transport, network, data link, and physical layers. The application layer is the seventh layer of the OSI model. Uh, the application layer provides interface to access network services such as file sharing, message handling, and database access. It also handles error recovery for applications. Uh, at this layer, the PDU, which stands for Protocol Data Layer, is simply referred to as data. The application layer has both a client component and a server component. Uh, an example of like a client-server pairing would be like a web browser, which is a client component that accesses a web server, which is a server component. Uh, common protocols found within the application layer are HTTP, FTP, TFTP, and uh, SMTP. Uh, possible problems that may occur within the application layer are missing or misconfigured client or server software and incompatible or obsolete commands used to communicate between client and server. And the next layer of the OSI model is layer six, the presentation layer. This layer handles data formatting and translation. It also handles protocol conversion, data encryption and decryption, data compression, and graphics commands. The PDU at this layer is simply referred to as data. Basically, in this layer for outgoing messages, it converts the data into a format specified by the application layer if that's even necessary. For incoming messages, it actually reverses the conversion if required by the receiving application. So in short, the presentation layer presents data in a suitable form for the application layer. Uh, a good example of functionality at this level would be like a web browser that is displaying graphic files embedded into a web page. Uh, for this situation, the presentation layer component actually informs the application layer what type of data format to display. Components of the presentation layer include FTP and HTTP clients and servers and OS specific clients and servers. Some of the possible problems that may occur at this layer include missing translation software in which the presentation layer on one system does not have the necessary data translation, software decryption, decompression, or graphics processing software to interpret the received data correctly. The session layer is the fifth layer in the OSI reference model. It responds to service requests from the presentation layer and issues service requests to the transport layer. The major function of the session layer is to create, maintain, and terminate sessions. Other functions of the session layer is starting and ending a session across the network, allowing applications to share information ensuring that information is flowing to the right place, communicating to the presentation layer and the transport layer. We have multiple sessions on a network due to the working of the session layer. The fourth and middle layer of the OSI reference model is the transport layer. The transport layer accepts data from the session layer, breaks it into packets called segments, and delivers these packets to the network layer. It is the responsibility of the transport layer to guarantee successful arrival of the data at the destination device. To ensure reliable delivery, the transport layer includes flow control and acknowledgments. Flow control ensures that the recipient isn't overwhelmed with more data that it can handle. The PDU at this layer is segments, and the components working at this layer include TCP and UDP from the TCP IP protocol suite. Some key fields in the transport layer include source and destination port numbers, sequence and acknowledgement numbers, and the window size. I'm doing the network layer. Uh, the network layer handles logical addressing 
It translates IP addresses into MAC addresses, and it performs the best path selection and the routing within an internet network. It's also called the traffic hop for network activity because it provides access control. During access control, the router uses a list of rules before forwarding an incoming packet. The network, the network layer is a PDU as a packet. The software components that are working with this layer are the IP, the ARP, and the ICMP. Routers work at this layer as well as firewalls. Layer 3 switches, which are switches with the routing capability, also work with the network layer. The problems that exist with the network layer are incorrect IP addresses, subnet masks, and incorrect router configuration. The data link layer. The second layer of the OSI model is the data link layer. This layer is responsible for managing access to the network medium and delivering of the data frames from the sender to the receiver or from the center to an intermediate device like a router. Physical layer. The first layer of the OSI model is the physical layer. The purpose of the physical layer is to convert bits into signals for outgoing messages and then convert signals into bits for incoming messages. The type, of, the type of signal is dependent on the type of medium. Wired medium equals electrical pulses, wired, or fiber optic equals pulses of light, and wireless is radio waves. The physical layer also specifies how to encode ones and zeros. This word is encoding. Encoding is representing zeros and ones by a physical signal such as electrical voltage or light pulses. There's also network components. These network components comprise of cables, connectors, repeaters, and hubs. Problems that may occur with this stuff is um, EMI, which is electrical magnetic interferences, and just problems with the NIC card and the hubs. So I know there's a lot of information about the OSI model, but uh, there's a basic acronym that you can use to just remember the basic seven layers of the OSI model, and that is please do not teach stupid people applications. It's a great way to remember each layer. I know it goes from the bottom up, which is a little confusing, but it works for me. So, so I hope you enjoyed our video about the OSI model. Hurrah. Yeah. <laughs>